Hey everybody, it's Carlissa, and today I'm going to be showing you how to wash your English skirt. Um, I just have this regular fleece skirt. It's not the best lighting. I'm in my bathroom for this. It's really dirty. So, yeah. So, what I like to do is fill up this tub. So, I like to fill up the tub. I have a drain stopper. I have my girt. We do another video with this. And I also have some tide that I'm going to be using. I am the only tub that I'm like washing clothes and stuff. Just so you know, I won't get all the skincare. And while I'm in here, I also take this opportunity to wash my dirty tax sponges. I use three at a time and then I wash them. So when I wash my fur, I wash this. And um, I'm washing this in fur. Let's see. A day prior to the show. So if my show is on Saturday, I will wash my fur on. Thursday. Thursday, I'm sorry. I will wash my girth on Thursday so I will make sure it's all nice and dry. And I usually don't ride on Friday, so the day before a show, unless I have a lesson, I don't ride. So that's why it stays all nice and clean. So that's why it stays all nice and clean. <laughs> Alright guys, so now that my tub is filled up, what I'm going to do is place my dirty sticker on the tub. I know this is a really bad view. I think I'm going to try and change the angle. Right now, I just I really hope it doesn't get wet. So, hold on, I'm gonna try and change the angle. All right, guys, is this a better angle? I think so. So, I'm pretty much finished cleaning off the sponges. Now I'm It's pretty much done soaking up all this water. I'm going to take my pot <coughs> and I'm not going to put it directly like in the water. I'm going to put it directly on the girth. I'll just start scrubbing it in. And now just scrub it in some of the water. And as you can see, on this side, compared to this side, it's much wider. Rubbing it. Well, then, in the beginning, stand up for this part of the meeting, which is really.
can also get the outside around like this area because when you were showing people are definitely going to see that part of the girth. I like to wash my girths beforehand because girths do take kind of a while to dry. So I like to do is to make sure my girth will definitely be dry by the time it comes to be Saturday. be blue a little bit you can keep on scrubbing Now you can put this in the washing machine for a quicker finish. Um, I just suggest tying some old cloth around the buckle part so you don't hear it inside the wash machine. But otherwise you can totally throw it in the washing machine. I just like do this so then I can get precise clean. It's really hard to reach just more of the edges of your girth. this thing on the sides and even this part because this part can get really dirty too and I am even going to do the buckles This is really good to do if, um, if you're bored at home and you have your girth. I really suggest doing this because it really will be precise clean on your girth. Okay, as you can see, you can see some of the blue in it, but it is so much more clean. Um, in the water, you can scrub it with your nails. And you don't 
don't need this in your bathtub. You can do this outside too. If you're not going to let you do it in the bathtub. This is my bathroom, so she just kind of let me do whatever. hair catcher thing let this sit in here until it all drains then I'm going to run some clean water over this so I will be right back this water got pretty dirty guys I'm really glad I decided to wash this plus I like to look really presentable at the show so this is really good all right guys the water just all drained out and look at this rim from my girth. That's really nasty. It's a lot cleaner from the outside, so I'm going to turn some water on, run it over this, and then I will show you the final result. I usually like to use some cold water to run over this final product for my shower head up there and I will show you that after I do that and then once I'm done in the shower I will just hang it up right here to dry I usually hang it up there try to do it for two days so yeah and I also have a towel right here in case anything drips like as you can see it's dimming it can drip onto a towel so yeah Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Please comment and subscribe, and comment down below what videos you want to see next, because I will put out content what you want to see. So, bye guys.